In the next few videos, you will learn how to make this character controller. We can move it using the AWSD keys. We have the sprint feature when I'm holding the shift key. Also, we have a special transformation. If I hit control, you see that we can turn it into a ball. In this mode, I can move it using the AWSD keys with a different speed. And also we can get back with the control key. And you will notice that the animation is different. So if we open it in the same position, we have this animation. But if we are moving, he opens like that. So before we get started, make sure to subscribe to my channel. That helps me a lot. And without any further ado, let's dive right in. As you can see, I've already created an empty project. So I want to start this from scratch without using any starter assets. First of all, we have to download the robot model. I'm going to use the free asset from the Unity Asset Store which is this robot that comes with the animations that we need for our gameplay. You could also customize it with different textures. As you can see, we have the open animation. I think it's really cool. To download it, you have to open it in Unity. I've already done that, and it is this robot sphere folder. And before we start using the 3D model under this asset, which is this robot sphere, I want to create an empty game object as the base of our player using right click, create empty, and let's call it player holder, and reset the transform. After that, I will add the 3D model, so make sure to drag it under the player holder. For now, you can't see it because it's really tiny. Let's change its scale to 40 on the X, the Y, and the Z. Then let's add a plane as a ground using right click, 3D object, plane, and let's call it a ground. Make sure it's outside of the player holder. Reset the transform and let's scale it a bit. The material is a little bit boring, so I want to assign this prototype material. And now it feels better. So if I hit play, nothing happens. We can't move this sphere using the AWSD keys or do anything. We're going to implement this from scratch. So to move this player holder using the AWSD keys, there are two ways. You could use the rigid body component or the character controller component. In this video, I want to use the character controller. So search for the character controller component and add it to the empty game object. Then we can use its built-in method, which is called move to move the robot ball. So when you add the character controller component, you will see that we have this kind of capsule, which is some sort of collider for our player. We want to adjust it to fit with the 3D model. In our case, we have a sphere. That's why I'm going to use two as the radius and move it a little bit to the top by changing the center point. And that's really important for the player movement and collision. Now that we have the character controller component, we're going to use the new input system to check for the inputs. And to do that, we have to add the new input system package from the package manager using window, then package manager. Make sure that Unity registry is selected and search for input system. Let's hit install to add it to the project. And if you don't know how to use the new input system, make sure to check out one of my previous videos. I've talked about it. Then hit yes and save to restart the project and set up the new input system. And to use the new input system, there are different ways. In this video, I'm going to show you the easiest one. We have to select the player holder and we are going to add the player input component. So this comes with the new input system. Once you add it, Let's hit create actions and we can give it a name like controls. And if you hit save, you will see this window that pops up. As you can see, it is separated into three parts. We have the action maps like the player action map. If you select it, you will see the different actions that are related to the player, like the move action to move it using the AWSD keys. So this is all set by Unity. In the next video, we'll use the look action so that we can rotate the camera and make a third person camera movement. Now to use the move action and move the ball using the AWSD keys, we have to create a C sharp script under the same game object that has the player input and we will add the on move function. So this will look for these functions, which is gonna be called each time we use the AWSD keys or the joystick to move the ball. So let's go under the assets and create a C sharp script. I am gonna call it player inputs manager. As I said, we have to attach it to the player holder. Then we are going to create a function 
that is called on move. First, you have to add the new input system namespace using Unity Engine, then dot input system, and you have to write it like this on, then the name of the action, which is move, and this takes an object of type input value. Let's call it value. And to get the inputs, we use value dot get, and then we add the type. In this case, it's a vector2 that represents the movement along the x and the z. And to use this vector, I'm going to create another variable on top using public vector2. I'm going to call it move equals the value vector2. Now we can use this vector in other scripts so that we can move the ball using right click, create C sharp script. I will call it robot controller. Then let's attach it to the player holder. And under this script, we are going to access the character controller and use the move function to move our player using the move vector. So let's open it up. First, we need a reference to the player inputs manager so that we can get the move vector. Then let's initialize it under the start function using get component. And we want to get the player inputs manager script. Of course, we need to add a reference to the character controller. The same thing, let's add private character controller, controller, and set it using get component, character controller. Now we can move on to the update function, which is called over and over again. As I said, we are going to use controller dot move. So this is a built-in function that takes the direction and it will move the player towards that direction. And let's add input dot move which is the vector2 under the script. And we can multiply it by some sort of speed and by the time the delta time to make it frame rate independent. I haven't created this speed variable. Let's add it on top. I will add serialize field so that we can adjust it from the inspector. And it's going to be a float speed equals 4. Make sure to save all of your scripts. Then let's hit play. As you can see, we can move the ball left and right. But the only problem is that when I hit the W key, it is moving up and down. And that's because we are using this vector 2 directly. To solve that, let's create a new vector 3. I'm going to call it target direction equals new vector 3. For the X, I will use input dot move dot X to move the player left and right. For the Y, I'm going to use 0, because I don't want to move the player up and down. And to move it forward and backward, we use input dot move dot Y. And finally, we have to change the vector to the target direction. And there you go, it is working. We can move the ball using the AWST keys. I think that's pretty much it, guys, for this video. I hope you like it. If you have any question or comment, make sure to write that under the comment section down below. And I will see you in the next one.